police that I haven't killed anybody, even though I do believe he shot Officer Tippett in self-defense. He didn't plan on shooting Tippett or he didn't want to shoot him, but I do believe he was uh, responsible for the death of J.D. Tippett. And he was charged with that, but he never was uh, convicted of anything because as we know, on uh, November 24th, two days later at 11.21 a.m. on a Sunday morning in the basement of the Dallas Police Department in Harwood in Maine, Jack Ruby went down in that basement and as they were getting ready to transfer Oswald from the city jail, Dallas Police Department, to the county jail, Sheriff J.D. Decker, the Dallas County Jail there right across the street. That's where they were getting ready to bring Oswald to. And as they walked him through the basement to put him in the one of the squad cars, Jack Ruby had darted out from the crowd. There were many news people down there that morning. The place was packed. And he had a snub nose 38, Hamlet's 38, and stuck it right into the, the, the stomach area of the off wall and fired the gun one time. And uh, the bullet in an off wall, and uh, it uh, went through his went his stomach, and he messed up his spleen. I think he bounced off, hit the liver, and also the aorta. But uh, he bled to death and uh, lost unconscious, never re regained conscious, and they announced him dead at 107, uh, November 24th, at Parkland Hospital. Fred and Kennedy was taken to Parkland Hospital, where he died. Lee Harvey Oswald was announced dead at Parkland Hospital. And on uh, January the 3rd, 1967, uh, Jack Ruby was announced dead at Parkland Hospital. That was the day he died, allegedly of cancer.